talk about a hidden threat that surrounds us every day. Now, imagine for me, if you will please, please, imagine for me that you just woke up. It's in the morning, you're stretching, you're getting out of bed, you go downstairs or down the hall and make yourself some breakfast and a nice cup of water. Perfect morning, right? You'd say that. Unfortunately, it's not such a perfect morning. Inside, the food you just ate and the water you just drank is an insidious and hidden killer. Microplastics. That's right, Danny. These tiny plastic particles, measuring less than 5 millimeters, are pervasive in our environment. They originate on land and find themselves basically everywhere. Through many means, through wind, through rivers, even human pollution, unfortunately. They've been found everywhere, from the Arctic Circle to the bottom of the ocean, even in protected beaches. Now you might be wondering, how does this affect us? Well, recent studies have shown that microplastics, that humans unknowingly inhale microplastics. In fact, research published in 2019 suggests that we inhale 11.3 microplastics every hour, totaling to 271.2 microplastics in just 24 hours. These particles can get lodged up in our airways and cause inflammation. And we don't just breathe it, we drink it. Don't think you're safe just because you're drinking bottled water. That water you have right next to you has more plastic than tap water. A study conducted found 325 particles of plastic per liter of bottled water, compared to only 5.5 particles per liter in tap water. It's everywhere. And it doesn't end there. Microplastics have found their way into our food as well. Recent studies showcase that humans, an average human, consume up to 5 grams of microplastics every week, which is equivalent to a waste of a credit card. Now, microplastics absorb harmful substances such as PCBs, heavy metals, and pesticides. When we consume them, our exposure to these substances increases, which can have detrimental effects on our health. The real issue is that it has been already found in our human blood.